Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring a product review to you. I'm here to review for you the new Bell Trust Perfect Lace Grip Cap. This is a pretty new product that they've recently come out with. It is a combo wig, let's see, a wig grip and a wig cap with a lace front and a mono part. So if you are in need of a solution of something to wear underneath your wig, then stay tuned for the rest of this video because I have a lot to say about this. I am so excited to bring you this product today. I just think it's such a new and innovative product and something different. And it's just so exciting when we have a chance to try different things that help with our wig wearing journey. I have my friend Deborah from the very best little hair house in Sharon, Pennsylvania to thank for this. She actually sent this to me. Uh, we've been having some conversations lately about our passion to help our wig sisters. And she owns a brick and mortar store in Pennsylvania and has such a passion for helping uh, wig wearers and women with hair loss and she's just near and dear to my heart and we've uh, actually been friends for a couple of years and this was such a treat for me it was it's not something I would have purchased on my own so Deborah if you're watching this thank you so much I'm very thrilled to be able to share this with all of our wig sisters as a possible solution for them so let's start talking a little bit about this product and how it compares to similar uh, solutions on the market First of all, I want to say I don't typically wear anything underneath my wigs. I don't wear wig caps. I don't wear wig grips. I do, I, the only thing I do is I adhere my wigs with its stays, which is a roll-on adhesive, and I adhere the very front of my wig. That is enough for me to feel very secure all day long that my wig is not going to move. But... There are times when I need something else or something different, and this is something I think you guys really should uh, consider. So I'm going to demonstrate how to wear this, and I'm going to show you how this compares to a typical wig grip. And then I'm going to tell you what my impressions are and who I think this could be good for. So before I put this on, let me just tell you that I'm wearing Raquel Welch straight up with a twist in the color Fiery Copper. I just recently got this piece and am going to be doing a review of it. I am so thrilled. Oh my gosh. And this was another uh, blessing from a wig sister and I am so incredibly thrilled. I owned Straight Up With A Twist within the first six months of my wig wearing journey and she was way too short for me at the time. I just didn't have enough experience with wigs and I wasn't able to wear wigs that were above chin length. And so I sold her and I've wondered now for the past few years if I would like this wig now. And I'm so happy and thrilled to report that yes, I absolutely love this style now. So look for that review to come soon. Okay, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to start demoing for you this product. So um, this is the Perfect Lace Grip Cap, like I said, by Bell Truss. And it comes in four different colors. So the color I have here is cream. It also comes in mocha, a coffee color. And the difference, I think one's black and one's brown. So mocha would be the... Um, brown one and then coffee is black and then it comes in a chrome color as well my guess is that's a good color for women wearing gray wigs so you kind of covered the spectrum with these and the construction you've got a very soft and very thin cap that covers the whole head then you have a lace front it goes ear to ear and then you also have a mono part and then in the back here, you have a Velcro adjuster. So you can adjust this and make it uh, tighter or looser, uh, depending on your circumference. Now, compare this to a traditional wig cat, uh, grip. So this is a wig grip. And one of the first things that I noticed right off the bat is this one is much thinner. So this cap is so incredibly thin and soft. It's not going to add a whole lot of bulk underneath your wigs. And the um, this part right here 
is much thinner than this wig grip right here. And I have a number of different styles of wig grips and it's much thinner than any of the ones that I own. So I probably have three or four different kinds. And so not only is it nice and light, but it's not as bulky. So let me put it on for you and let me demonstrate how you would wear this. So first of all, you're gonna wanna put it on and then you're gonna wanna make sure that it's nice and secure. You don't wanna make it so tight that you feel like your head is being squeezed, just a good security. Then you're going to wanna make sure you adjust it so that the lace part is where you would part your wig. And so that might take a couple of tries of putting it on and putting your wig on just to double check that you've got that in the right place. And then something I noticed is I do have to make sure, so like I said, the lace is ear all the way to the other ear. Now I have turned this to the side, which is why this one goes up here right now. If I were to make it a center part, then that it would go literally ear to ear. So that, I guess that's one thing to be aware of. If you are a, a, a side part girl, you are going to um, have one side where the lace doesn't go down quite as far. So you're gonna put it on and it's nice and comfortable. I have just a little bit of extra cap up here, but it is stretchy. So I think it will accommodate for a wide range of head sizes. I have a very petite head over the top of my head and average 22 inch circumference around. So now I'm gonna put my wig on. And one thing I did notice is that I do have to make sure this is pushed back quite a ways so that you can't see the side of the cap uh, with my wig. So that's another thing you'll want to adjust for where this should sit on your head. So here we go, I'm gonna put my wig on and then I'm going to adjust it and get it into place. And then the first thing I'm gonna check is that I can't see the wig grip underneath my wig and I can't. So I've got it back just far enough. The second thing I'm going to check is that I can't see the wig grip on the part and I can't, which means I put that lace, uh, the monofilament, the part line in the right place to match up with this wig. So all of that are sort of the first things. Now, what are my impressions? First of all, it is incredibly comfortable. I honestly am shocked with how comfortable this is. One of the reasons I don't like regular wig grips is I feel it's too much bulk and I just don't like having that extra bulk underneath my wig. Another thing that I notice is that I have a hard time getting my lace fronts to lay flat when I have a wig grip on. That extra bulk there is just a little bit too much and causes the lace to buckle a little bit on me or pucker and doesn't allow it to lay flat. This is allowing my lace to lay flat. It has not been a problem at all. I think part of that reason why is because it's so thin, but another reason is that lace front, it's giving me flatness in the front and that lace front is laying behind this lace front. So I've got quite a bit of real estate here that's already flat and not bulky. So I love that. I know that they sell lace front wig grips and I've tried one and I didn't have a lot of success with it. So I, I don't have a ton of experience with those, but this is a great solution. What else do I think is really important to know about this? If you struggle with wigs being a little bit too big for your head, if you feel as though whenever you get an average size wig, you can maybe get the cap tight enough uh, in the circumference by the adjusters, but you just feel like you have too much looseness and too much cap in the rest of the wig. This might be the solution that you need to add just a little bit more of something underneath the wig to make it feel secure. I feel incredibly secure with this, like so secure. I could even do like styling and updos and pull my wig around and I don't feel like the wig's gonna be pulled off my head. And that's often a challenge I experience is uh, not being able to mess around with my wigs unless they're adhered because I feel like I'm gonna pull them off. What else do I think? I think somebody who struggles with um, 
Maybe you have no bio hair at all and a very sensitive scalp. And so you struggle with wigs being itchy on your head, especially wigs with a lot of permatease. Sometimes heavy permatease can actually be quite itchy for some people. Or maybe you've purchased a, a, a lower price point or budget wig that maybe has some good cap features, but those cap features aren't as soft as you would like. I have had some of the lower price point wigs where they have a mono top and that monofilament is really scratchy and rough. Now I have not experienced any issue with that because I do have a little bit of bio hair, but I can totally see how someone might struggle with that if they don't have any bio hair. This cap is so soft and so comfortable that I think it would be a great option for you if you struggle with those things. I also think that if you are someone who gets really sweaty in, on, in your head sweats a lot, I think this could add a layer. It's almost like wearing a cotton t-shirt underneath your clothing to sort of absorb the sweat and to um, you know prevent that from getting through onto your clothes. I think this could be a similar solution where it's just another layer and sort of keeps you a little bit, you know, if you're worried about your wig, you don't want to sweat in your wig cap, maybe you don't want to wash your wigs a whole lot, you can wear a cap like this that might extend out how long you can go between washes as well. So honestly, I think there's so many benefits to this. I was skeptical when I pulled this out, I thought, yeah, just another thing that I'm not going to possibly use. I knew I'd review it for all of you, but you know, I haven't really found these to be something that I personally will use. I'm kind of debating about whether or not I will wear this sometimes. It is so comfortable. I cannot stress enough how comfortable this is. Another benefit I think there is to this, if you have a lot of bio hair that you need to cram underneath a, a wig, a wig cap is a good way to do that and this one gives you all the benefits of having that lace front and the lace part and is way more comfortable than any wig cap I have ever put on my head. So for, for my sisters out there who are either only wearing wigs for fashion and you have a ton of bio hair or if you have hair loss but you still have a lot of bio hair, long bio hair, then this is a great way to keep that bio hair contained. And you might be wondering, is this going to make me hot? And I will tell you that I am struggling so much right now with hot flashes and being hot more than I've ever struggled in my whole life. It's been miserable. And I wore this for a little while just to see if I thought it would add. I didn't notice an appreciable difference I think part of it is because it's acting as sort of a sweat absorber. There's some science around when you put like a cotton t-shirt on, it actually helps keep you cooler than if you don't have that on. And so I don't know if that's how this was operating, but I really found it comfortable when I wore it. So I really have to tell you guys that I think this is an awesome product. Uh, now, you know, how will it stand the test of time? How well does it wash? All of those things. I can't speak to that. But if you have this and you've been using it, please tell us in the comments, what do you think of it? Does it work well for you? Do you have, can you compare and contrast it to other solutions? Would love to have your feedback to help all of our sisters who may be watching this video. So my kind of the summary of all of this is I give this a two thumbs up. I think it's a fantastic product. I love how thin it is. I love how soft it is. And I love the fact that it doesn't make my lace pucker up like other wig grips have. So if you're curious, I recommend you check this out. I'm sure you can buy it at any wig retailer online or even brick and mortar stores if they carry Beltrust products. So if I can maybe link a couple on uh, in the description below just to help you out, I will do that. Otherwise, let me know if you have questions. Tell me what you think if you have one. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Mm -hmm.